hope you've had a brilliant holiday, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I've actually been in this particular space. The UK got to something approaching like minus 10 uh, centigrade uh, early December. Uh, heating bills are really, really high. There's no way that I could justify um, the extra expense of heating this space. So reasons why I haven't been painting uh, work as ever. Family life is a, is a given and things have to fit in around that. Um, but the day job um, kind of ramped up a little bit before um, took some leave for Christmas. Um, I also changed my working space. I used to kind of uh, do the day job out here as well. So on lunch times and stuff, I could kind of um, pop to the easel and do something. And now I work in a different space and the painting is separate, which is great for painting, but it means I don't have it in easy reach. So it's either been too cold or uh, I have been too busy to come here to make stuff which is mortifying. Um, so there's been a lot of digital things. And yes, there have been some, I'm going to call them cyborg paintings, in that I've um, used AI image generators to create elements, to create other stuff. Um, I have learned a lot more about how those data sets are trained and I've stopped using them because I can't condone theft. It's a weird one because I do a lot of collage work and obviously collage can involve the use of photographic material and um, sometimes copyrighted photographic material. But yeah, I collage my own sketches, I collage, collage. Other bits and pieces but I kind of got used to the fact that um, some elements of pieces of work that I do are not by my own hand um, and I have tried to rationalise AI as a way of generating collage material. Yeah I was never really satisfied with just putting out the output from an AI experiment on its own as a as a finished piece so I kind of had to have a hand in somewhere so I was combining sort of um, AI like generating sort of weird Victorian style photographs in mid-journey and sort of digitally painting over them and, and adding elements to them so that yeah it was something between human and, and AI but the methods by which the data sets are trained um, using either kind of other people's work scraped from the internet uh, or um, research data that was intended as non-profit research data being used by a for-profit or a commercial entity it just kind of is not on um, so I quit doing them. Um, there are like three or four and I'm not going to delete and I'm not going to disown them because they were like a part of an experiment. Um, but you try something, you learn more about it and then you find reasons about whether or not you want to continue with it. So try not to be a hypocrite about it. So saying in another setting, kind of saying, yes, I experimented with AR, AI art generation. It feels a little bit like saying, yes, I experimented briefly with heroin. The drawback for me of not being able to keep a physical hand in is that sort of, it feels like certain muscles atrophy after a while. And where I couldn't come here to work and I was doing a lot of digital things and I'm not going to bash digital because the irony of the whole situation with AI generated imagery is that it behaves in the way that stupid people thought that digital art worked, namely that you perform a single action and an image emerges, which is bullshit. So there are some pieces that are kind of weird cyborg things that, uh, you know, they're about. Uh, there's a couple left on my Instagram feed slash Facebook feed. Um, they're not for sale, can't sell them. They are an experiment and it's like, okay, tried that. I think there might be a place for such a tool that was fed by ethical means. I really, really like the idea of being able to feed it everything that I've done and see what bizarre mutant things it turns up. But that's not the same as painting an original piece by hand and all of that sort of thing because I don't want to get too the argument from like provenance feels just that's wrong as well so I've stopped doing it 
I remain a little um, less un not ambivalent, less uncertain about it. Anyway, I've waffled on about that for ages. Long story short, not been able to paint a lot, not been able to sort of make a thing, make a lot of things, and um, it feels bad. As the weather improves, I'll be able to come out to this space a bit more. I've missed physical pigment on a physical surface. I have some more clarity on what the hell it is that I'm up to. <laughs> Massive shout out to Gerard Torbett. My esteemed colleague, we were chatting and certain ideas came up uh, about what the whole point of my work is. And uh, sometimes you have to look in the right mirror is the only way I can put it. I will be grateful to the end of my days for that revelation. Thank you, my friend. But it's ironic that I use the word clarity to describe it because it seems a lot of my work is about a lack of clarity and bewilderedness. I'm not going to talk a lot more about that now. I'm just going to do the work and let it sort of emerge because it's like, oh, it's good to know. It means I've got like somewhere to aim for. But I can't just have every single piece slavishly go, right, this meets this checklist of criteria of apparently what a piece of my art is about. That's bullshit because part of it is play. Part of it is the highest sense of the term fucking about uh, until something neurologically pleasing happens with the image anyway there'll be stuff anyway, it's a new year I'm not going to make a bunch of promises and I'm not going to make a bunch of resolutions because they get abandoned pretty quickly. Forming habits, good habits is better. One of those habits has to be that I come here and work. Another habit has to be that I use social media in a more intentional way. So, I kind of st started a... Uh, it's a difficult thing because you want to present yourself as a human being as well as a person what makes pictures and that but also at the same time there'll be people that are then just to see the pictures that they don't really care about my thoughts on you know plant-based cheese or doctor who so um i split church and state so i've got an instagram that is exclusively just art you now and there's another one that's just stuff from my life where it's appropriate to put it up Anyway, I'm going to wrap up now because I've crapped on for about like, um, well, for far, far too long with very, very little in return. Um, so it should be repaying your patience with some information. I'm going to start selling things again shortly because I haven't. I'm doing a Prince of That Frankenstein piece that people dug. Um, so there'll be like a limited run of those. And hopefully that'll sell out and I'll make some more. Take care. Have a happy new year. I hope that it is fuck ton better than the last one and I'll catch up with you in like 12 months time to see where we get